Hello everyone, this video will provide a comprehensive explanation of the operational skills and protocols in agricultural drone operation. To gain a deeper understanding, it is highly recommended that you watch it attentively. Before taking off, agricultural drone pilots should assess the surroundings, avoid taking off or landing on roads and crowded areas, and steer clear of obstacles like utility poles, trees, and vehicles. It is crucial to inspect the area for any potential hazards that could be easily blown to the sky, such as plastic bags or bubble wrap. If these objects get caught in the propellers before takeoff, it could result in the drone crashing down. When you unfold the arms and propellers, it's important to check that the snaps are securely locked. If you see a notification window popping up during takeoff to remind you to lock the snaps, make sure to check if the snaps are locked before proceeding. Don't just click OK and forcefully take off without verifying it. Please pay attention to the propellers for any signs of cracking or deformation. You can fold the two propellers together to check if they fit tightly, which is normal. However, if there is a gap between the two propellers or if you notice any visible bending with the naked eyes, it indicates that deformation has occurred. In such cases, it is important to promptly replace the propellers to avoid propulsion abnormalities and safety risks. Shake the drone and inspect the screws on the landing gears. If shaking the drone causes it to sway horizontally, it indicates that the screws on the landing gears or body are loose. In this case, you should use a screwdriver to tighten the screws. Afterward, check the drone again to ensure there is no swaying. Only proceed with the flight operation when the drone body is stable, and do not overlook the issue and continue flying. Prior to takeoff, it is important to position yourself at the rear of the drone and maintain a safe distance of at least 10 meters from the drone. Standing on either side of the drone or at the front of the drone is strictly prohibited, as it poses a potential risk to the safe operation of the drone. When performing manual takeoff and landing, it is important to be cautious. The omnidirectional radar should be activated three seconds after initiating the propellers. It is crucial to operate the controller gently and smoothly during this time, as the radar is temporarily turned off. Avoid using excessive controller movements or forcefully manipulating the controller. The body of an agricultural drone is larger, which results in a slower reaction. If the controller is pressed with a large amount of force while the radar is turned off and the drone has a large inertia, it may fail to break in time and cause a collision accident. To begin the day's operation, it is advisable to initiate the propellers, take off and maintain a height of approximately 1.5 meters at a stationary position. It is important to verify if the controller responds properly and if the drone's attitude is stable before proceeding with further operations. If the drone experiences any abnormal conditions like excessive shaking of the body or unresponsive movements to the left or right, it should be promptly landed to address and resolve the issue. Before beginning the operation, it is important to assess if there are any obstacles, such as trees, along the way from the takeoff point to the starting point of the route. If there are obstacles present, you have the option to add a connection point that allows you to bypass the obstacle, or alternatively, you can manually fly to the starting point. If there are numerous overhead wires crisscrossing in the air, making it challenging to determine their height, it is advisable to either alter the takeoff location or manually control the drone to steer clear of the heavily wired area. At this moment, it is crucial to refrain from using auto start to initiate the drone's flight from the starting point. If the drone flies automatically to the starting point, you can use the visual and FPV cameras to identify any obstacles like power lines above the area. If there are obstacles, you can manually adjust its path to avoid them before sliding to start the automatic operation in the app. The process for assessing obstacles is as follows. Initially, visually inspect the height of the power lines on either side of the area and subsequently ascertain their location using the FPV camera before moving on to the next stage.